Okay guys, um, as you know I've been looking for uh, a serious viable uh, alternatives to web development. Um, what I mean by that is that I'm very used to developing um, websites and web pages in Dreamweaver, which is an Adobe suite program. Um, very meaty program, um, really nice, it's very handy WYSIWYG. Not only am I used to that, I'm also used to uh, Visual Studio, which is a, another really great development tool um, that I like. And since I'm moving to Linux, um, and I'm trying to go 100% Linux, or at least, at the very least, 90% Linux, um, where I have to use some virtual uh, uh, virtual box to do some window stuff in it. And uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, it's been a very long and exhausting hunt for uh, a viable solution for Dreamweaver. Um, I ultimately ended up at uh, OS Alternatives, which is open source alternatives. It's osalt.com or osalt.com, however you want to say it. Um, basically, all you have to do is type in uh, the program name that you want to have an open source alternative to and it'll give you several um, open source alternatives and some of these alternatives if you go to them and you'll you'll have to look at it and make sure if it's running in Linux or if it's a Windows alternative you know uh, Unix, Mac or Java. Um, for me I was like I said I was looking for an alternative to Dreamweaver and I ended up here looking at this and here was the alternatives right here and I believe I was pretty much lucky because most of these matter of fact I think all of these were able to go into Linux um, yeah Linux Linux they had some uh, here's a Linux uh, most of them were very you know cross-platform so I had I had an easy task there it wasn't a problem trying to find what I needed as far as the operating system goes but trying to find a program that actually mimicked or did better than Dreamweaver was a challenge um, this was the first one that I used and uh, it was it was really good I liked everything about it except for the uh, editor the text editor piece of it um, in today's age text editors really help you code um, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not a hand coder. I, I do hand code. I don't like hand coding. I do love using my WYSIWYG. So um, this was good. This was a great alternative. The uh, FTP was pretty decent on it. Um, but it wasn't, uh, uh, it wasn't the best solution. Um, now, I skipped over a ton of two for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I went on to see Monkey Bluefish. Um, and my... Uh, Composer and Envu, um, which these two are the same, really. I think, as far as I could tell, um, this uh, no longer exists for. Uh, um, I'm not sure. I, I know there's these are like, the, yeah, it's an Envu project. So, Composer is just something built off of the Envu project, I guess. But anywho, um, I went through all those, and I just, I mean, they they come close, but they weren't quite there. You know, one didn't have a great FTP, one didn't have a great text editor, and so on and so forth. But I got to Aptana, and I'm going to tell you, um, I was blown away. I mean, absolutely, completely blown away about what this open source project has done um, as far as the community and and it's free of charge. I mean, I, I couldn't believe how awesome the uh, program was, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up right now. Um, as you can see, it's opening up pretty decent. All right, so I've already created a, a project and stuff like that for, you know, just for this video because, I, well, in my testing, uh, I just want to be able to show you some small features right now I have it confined into one monitor because my screencast will only do one monitor it doesn't pick up my four monitor system so I had it when I first had it out I had it spread across um, the several monitors but um, 
here's the the source code and if I want to do uh, split view I can go preview and it'll give me that tab there and I can just drag it up um, I could also drag it to over here let me see like show there you go so I have my source code and I have a preview over here now I don't know for sure but I have not been able to edit in this preview um, and I'm not sure if I like that. I need to find the WYSIWYG piece of it. So that's, that's one downfall of it. But you can edit over here all day long and, and you'll see the savings to it. Um, like if I want to do like this and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then hit save, you should see it immediately over here. So that's pretty decent. Um, it's not quite what I want. But having said that, all the other features that you get with this program are awesome. There's no doubt about it. You could run, um, you could run it, build it. Um, you could look for errors. Like I mean, this is why I'm so blown away by this is because this isn't just a Dreamweaver replacement. Um, in many cases, because I'm going so so much open source, I mean, I'm going to be using like PHP, pro most likely. Not, I, not even most likely. I'd definitely be using PHP, um, and I'll probably be using some Ruby Rails. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I would like to learn that myself, and that'll get me away from the Visual Studio .NET stuff. Um, this program in itself is very familiar as a Visual Studio. I, mean, I, I couldn't believe how um, similar in, in some aspects that it is. But you got this little outline of your uh, your uh, your uh, your um, web page and if we go to body and you do that and you get into right down into the nitty gritty of your uh, your coding here. So I thought that was pretty cool which is a you know it's a decent feature of uh, similar to Visual Studio because I don't think Dreamweaver quite has that. Then you got your app explorer, um, and then you have your remote explorer. So I'm gonna get rid of the app explorer, minimize that, and show you that the FTP here is pretty nice too. So I've already connected everything. It was very easy to connect it, and here is the um, page that I'm currently looking at. So if I was to take you to um, my Dreamweaver page. I mean, not my Dreamweaver page, sorry. Uh, take you to my web page. As you can see, um, that web page is currently a few things about BP. And uh, I've already saved that over here, so all I have to do with the FTP is just go here, right click, uh, file transfer, and say upload. Once that's uploaded, all I have to do is go refresh here, and you should see it right there, a big change. So, I mean, this thing, I mean, I'm not even showing you all the features that it has. Uh, I'll just give you a little example of another feature which I like is uh, it has a built-in terminal, um, you know, command line. So you use that here instead of going out into your terminal and whatever. You can do all you need to do in your project. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, personally. Um, you have all these other little nuances, too, that I haven't really played with yet. But uh, I'm telling you, just some of the stuff that I'm seeing out of this is uh, is very impressive as far as you know open source community kind of thing goes because uh, this is very professional. Um, I imagine there's, I mean, I really haven't looked at the company itself that well. I I heard uh, Chris Perot say that uh, there's a professional version out there too that they sell for like a hundred dollars, which by the way is pretty phenomenal I would pay a hundred dollars for a professional version of this um, but he also went on instead said that uh, you you know the, the the differences between the professional and the open source are so minimum that you really don't even need to purchase it unless you're you know infringing on their licensing rights and all that which I imagine is you know using it as multiple desktops or something but Having said all that, this uh, this has impressed me. Uh, I think you could tell that by now. Um, there's just a lot of little features in here that you could use. Like there's something going on right here that's not really good. Um, and it says, what was that error? 
Uh, now I can't click on it. There you go. Unescaped and un and or unknown entity and ID. So obviously I have an issue in some of my coding, which is not surprising because I suck at coding. But anyways, that is my uh, demonstration of Uptana. Um, it is absolutely your best choice of an open source project if you want to have a Dreamweaver kind of thing, Visual Studio kind of thing. Um, again, I say Visual Studio, but I, I haven't seen any um, plugins or um, things that you could do with .NET. So I know I, I keep saying Visual Studio because it's the look and feel that you get with all the little tools and stuff like that, the toolboxes, and you just get a lot of those things that Visual Studio offers out to you that uh, Dreamweaver doesn't seem to have quite I mean you gotta do a lot of plugins and I mean extensions and stuff like that to dream we were to get some of those things but there you have it I mean Uptana is absolutely the best way to go it's on it's on the Windows platform Linux platform and I believe the Mac's pa uh, Mac platform as well so um, if you're in the market for getting open source uh, Dreamweaver, I recommend it 100% five stars baby talk to you later